welcome to this new video about workflow mobility. My name is Jose Gomez, DevOps Solution Architect at Nutanix. In this video, I will show you how to migrate your workflow from AWS to AHP using Nutanix CAM and Nutanix Move. Let's get started. With Nutanix CAM, we have deployed an application on AWS. This application is a WordPress application. Due to the cost of running this application on the public cloud, we want to move that application to our on-prem Nutanix platform. For that, a user in Nutanix CAM can click Add Day to Operations to migrate the workload from AWS to AHV. When the user click on that action, Nutanix Move is used to migrate the workload from AWS to Nutanix AHV on-prem. On that way, the business can save cost on running that application. Let's see how Nutanix Calm and Move has been integrated for this use case. This is our WordPress application running on AWS. On Nutanix Calm, you have full visibility of your hybrid cloud. Let's go through the process of configuring WordPress. Once WordPress has been configured, we will create a post to demonstrate that that information will be available when we migrate our application to AHV. As mentioned before, the components of this integration are Nutanix CAM, Nutanix Move, and the APIs of both. This is the day to action, migrate workload that will use the APIs from Nutanix Move. On Nutanix Move, we have already our providers, and the idea is to migrate this AWS virtual machine to AHV on-prem. The user run this day two action called Migrate Workload. Nutanix CAM will use the Move APIs to automate the entire process. This process is speeded up for the purpose of this demo. Depending on the size of your virtual machine and the internet connectivity, this process can take about 20 minutes in my case, with a virtual machine of 8 GB of disk and only use 3 of them. In CAM, we have end-to-end -end audit of the entire process. Here in Move, we can see that it's validating the plan, and in the meantime, we can still use the application before doing the cut over. This is a new post that we have created on WordPress. In order to see that that post will be available as well once the workload has been migrated on prem. Move is now creating the required snapshot to migrate the data from AWS to AHV on-prem. We can follow the entire process on Nutanix CAM. With this output, we have end-to-end -end visibility about the lifecycle management of your application, from day one provisioning to day two operations. The migration of the data has started. And using the APIs, we are able to retrieve the percentage of progress of this task. Nutanix Move is now with the cut over of the application. It's going to create a new snapshot to transfer the deltas between the first synchronization and this one. During this process, the virtual machine on AWS will be stopped to ensure that we can synchronize the latest data to on-prem. If we refresh in AWS, the virtual machine is gone. That means that has been stopped and we can see the move agent that is responsible to transfer that data. If we remove the filters, there is the virtual machine stopped and the move agent 
migrating that data from AWS to AHV. The migration process is close to finish. If we try to connect to the blog on AWS, the connection is not working anymore. The migration has been completed. The virtual machine is running already on AHV. The last step for Khan is to import that virtual machine into Khan. Let's look for that virtual machine. And here it is. Khan is importing. We can see the AWS virtual machine is stopped as well. And during that import process, it's just going to get the virtual machine from AHV to be managed in Khan. Now has been imported. Let's open WordPress. And as you can see, we have the information that we created while the VM was on AWS. If you want to know more about Nutanix, please visit Nutanix.com. Thank you for watching.